Hey guys, welcome back to another Project Ivory sneak peek. Um, in this one, we're going to show off the big thing we've been working on. The thing we've been waiting to put the server out to pre-beta, which is coming soon. I have a date for that at the end of the video. So if you stay tuned, you can see that. Also, I have all the information below. So if you just want to like see the information and leave, that's fine. Make sure you leave a like though. That'd be cool. Um, so anyway, the big thing we're working on is called abilities. Now, when you first log into the server, you're going to have, I think, three or four potions. I have extras because I'm testing. And then you have your armor, of course. You're going to get your armor. You're going to put it on because you know you, know, you don't want to be safe. And then you're going to have your sword and you're going to have these four slots here called no skill map to key. Now what this does is it's what allows you to activate the ability. So you can type in one, two, three, or four and it'll instantly go back to the sword. But what it does is it takes the information that's here as an ability once you map it and casts it. There's different type of abilities and I'll run you guys through some right now. So when you log in, you're going to have your character journal, of course. You're going to see your book here. You're going to have your race your class your level your experience your mana your health all that information and then when you have this you just punch in the air with it or on the ground if you whatever you want to do with it you'll see a change to ability info now this is when you right click and you get to select the tree you want to advance now this is the cool part you're going to have your ability info here which is your current level and the current ability points you can waste on an ability here is what will come in a later patch it's the options that will let you remap your abilities so you can take back all the ability points you used at a certain cost and the cost will keep going up every time you do that. So, you know, you're you're not really... We, we do, don't want you, but we want you to have the ability to. So if you have millions and millions of gold, you can play around with your abilities to get back what you, what you, what you want to do. So you have Perseverance, you have Ferocity. Now, Ferocity is one of my favorites. You have Bloodlust here, you have Infernal Aspect and Berserker. These are the different sub-abilities inside the Major One versus Ferocity. Now, Bloodlust has cool abilities where Siphon... Is one of the first ones you can have as you can see all these different abilities are here and i'll run you through them all real quick here for an aspect ashton cloud look at that flame whip you have berserker like savage strike for his charge and rage battle cry stuff like that and then so one of the favorite ones i like to have once you get the ability and you unlock it you click it you unlock it now you see all the information about it you have level one man of eight damage 20 hp the cooldowns five seconds the effectness is a, so you give a slowness of one for three seconds and you can return stamina. So as you can see, you can left click to set the slot or you can right click to upgrade if you have an ability. If you right click, it says you don't have ability points to upgrade because you don't. So you right click it, set it to your slot. Now, as you can clearly see, I have a glowing little thing here. That's my ability. So I can run up to a mob like here. I'm going to walk up to the mob. I'm actually pretty hungry. Now let's see if I can get one of these out. I've tried this before. This is really hard to get one out. Okay, no, what, just one. Oh my God. All right, well, here we go. So activate by just tapping it. And as you can see, I can get stamina back. So, and it cools down, activate it again. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I think I'm gonna die. Health potions are the best, must say. And as you can see the number right next to my health, which is at 65 right now, that is your mana. So when you run out of mana, you can't cast your ability. Bam, cool, okay. So here's your mana, as you can see. And you can see the stamina, restored stamina damage based off siphon, and then you're, you're restored back and then your normal damage from the sword. So here's your health, here's your mana, and your experience and your level. So let me just check one of those real quick. <laughs> All right, so that's the ability system. Now, now that we call that particular ability um, an active damage which only works when you activate it with the damage now the other ones we have is called say vampiric blade now what this one lets you do is called this is an active so i can turn it on let me see if i get one guy out again no come on just one just one just one why can i never get one okay, let me activate this now the active is on now you see how it's constantly doing particle effects that means it's on. So whenever I do it, as you can see my chat on the side, it's constantly active. So I can put this on while that's active and you need to stop hitting me. Cool. Yeah, cool. So those are the, act that's that's an active. Now we have something called the passive, which I'm not level five yet. So I can't really show you guys that, I guess. But what it does is it basically makes it so it's always on. So you don't have to go click it with one, two, three, four. You just activate it through the ability system and it's an active that's always on. So this is the big thing we've been working on. Um, trying to keep it secret. Now I'm showing you guys the cool thing we added to the this MMORPG experience to Minecraft. We took it what it 
what it could be and we've improved it i hope you guys do like this and we got, hope you guys will join us when we go pre-beta on november 6th at 7 p.m central me and cheap thief will be streaming we'll be tweeting this stuff we'll be streaming it and we'll go live, open up the server, and let you guys have tons of fun. Let you guys do what you want. You know, hopefully not break it. <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys will like the ability system once you guys are playing. And we'll see you guys then. See you later. Bye.